I never thought that I could drink a beer that was made in the 1700s. No, I'm not really drinking a beer that was made in the 1700s, but what I am drinking is the Gary Owen Pale Ale. This is coming out of JJ's Craft Brewery. As much as I love tasting pastry stouts and different kinds of fruit beers and hazy IPAs, I love authenticity. I love when brands today in the craft beer world are going back to original recipes, going back to pre-prohibition lagers, going back to recipes that are um, handed down to them throughout the centuries from their own native homelands. I love that. East Brother is doing a great job of keeping original English and German beer styles alive on the West Coast. Now we have JJ's Craft Brewing coming to the United States and showing us what Irish beer is really all about. 4.8%. Uh, Gary Owen Pale Ale is based and brewed to an old recipe that was used in the 1740s in one of Limerick City's oldest breweries, Newgate Brewery, which sadly closed in the late 1800s. We at JJ's Craft Brewing Company, one of Limerick's newest breweries, thought it was time to breathe new life into an old pale ale recipe that has been lost for so long. Gary Owen is also a reference to a cadence that the Irish military forces march to. Don't judge me. Oh God, beautiful, beautiful pale straw. Nice blonde color, that's what we love, that's what we look for. You know, something's kind of funny about the foam here, the head here, it looks, it looks thicker, like it, like it has almost like a, like a layer on top of it. You know, if you guys have ever made hummus or made a cheese sauce and there's that kind of skin that settles on the top. That's exactly what this is doing. This is kind of cool. I've never seen beer be this active. This is amazing. There, actually, there's almost no beer aroma to it at all. It's very strange. Cheers. I don't think I've ever tasted a pale ale that tastes this earthy and this smooth. It's almost like there's orange peel or some sort of, um, um, there, there's some sort of fruit skin in this. Like, pale ales in the United States tend to be a lot hoppier and this is actually nice. Oh God, do I, do I have foam? <laughs> this is much more palatable for somebody who doesn't like a lot of hop. I think this is smooth, it's tasty, it's full bodied, but it's got a really nice light mouthfeel. There's a certain, there's a certain kind of a twangy punch to it that I'm really enjoying. But this is a great after work beer. This might actually be one of the smoothest, tastiest pale ales I think I've ever had. And you guys know, I am loyal to Oscar Blues when it comes to their pale ale, but I think JJ is actually gonna give Oscar a run for his money. JJ's, this is a